Imagine you have a small protein like this, this size. Let's say this is GFP protein, it's a fluorescent protein. It's four by five nanometers. The fluorophore that you can put in classical resolution that is uh, imaging with classical non-expanded specimens, the fluorophore size is from 0 0.9 to 1.2 nanometers. So the meaning you can only maybe fit two, three fluorophores. So this protein will look three dots in classical super resolution in existing imaging. But when you uh, embed it in a gel and break it into tiny pieces and every piece now is especially like 1,000 uh, times by volume, or even 10,000 times by volume. There's no limit on the expansion factor there, right? And then you can, then the fluorophore size will be even negligible compared to the positions that are now, they are apart. And every single piece, you can fit a fluorophore. That's how we, how, how we see the, the shape of protein. And this applies for any, any, uh, any object that you look at. That's why indeed, as you said, like, and you need to put three days of imaging, you collect thousands of molecules, and every week we're finding a new data with that, indeed.